so here twrp is booted up and there you see guys twrp has been successfully booted up hi guys and welcome back to another great and exciting tutorial where i have got my this mi a2 and you know what this mi a2 is right now on official android 10 so just by this gestures navigation you can understand that it's on android 10 as well as if you see the complete ui in dark mode like this which also tells that it's on android 10 but still i'll just show you so here you can see this is on official android 10 so there you see these gestures and if i go to about phone here you can see it's MIA2 and the Android is Android 10. So just a big thumbs up for this. And the thing which I am going to tell you today is how you can unlock the bootloader as well as install the official TWRP in the Android 10 which some of you guys are not able to do. So first of all what all are the prerequisites? You should have the Windows PC with you. And the second thing is you should have the data cable also with you. So if you fulfill all these two prerequisites, you are good to go. And oh, I forgot. The third thing is your willingness to unlock your bootloader and install TWRP, which is one of the most important thing. So if all these three things are there, let's proceed. So we'll again go to settings and we have to enable the developer options. So for that, we again have to go to about phone and here we have to click this build number seven times. So now you can see I am a developer now. So I will go back and again go to the last option and go to advance. So here you can see now this developer option is available. So here you can see it's checked in. And the next thing which we have to do is we have to make sure this OAM unlocking is enabled, which is already enabled. And the second thing is we have to enable this USB debugging also. So we'll enable this also. So now everything is okay in mobile. And now we have to boot our MIA2 in fast boot mode. So for that, what we have to do is we have to first switch off the device. And then we have to press the volume down and power key together till the screen shows fast boot mode. So I'll do that. Power button and volume down button together till it shows fast boot mode. So it has been booted in fast boot mode. Now I'll switch back to my PC and then continue from there. Okay guys, so I'm on my PC now. And here are the bunch of files which we need in order to unlock our bootloader as well as installing the TWRP in the official Android 10. So the first one is an optional file which is Android drivers. So just in case if your drivers are not installed, you can use this Android drivers.exe file and install all the required drivers. Second is the file which we have to flash through TWRP which will disable the force encryption. This we need just in case sometimes you might have seen that TWRP is stuck at the boot screen. So once we flash this file, the force encryption will get disabled and TWRP will not get stuck ever. So this is an important file. And third file is the platform tools file, which, which has all the ADB and fast boot binary files, which we need in order to unlock the bootloader and boot TWRP. This is also a mandatory file. And third one is the TWRP itself. So the process which I am going to show is applicable on all MI devices which are on Android 1 platform. Just that you have to use the specific TWRP file of your mobile. Like this one is for MI A2. But same process will be applicable for MI A3, MI A1 or MI A2 Lite also. Just that you have to use the correct TWRP file. So we will unzip this platform tools file. And we have to go inside. And here we have to open a command prompt. So as our MIA2 mobile is already in fast boot mode, we'll just connect it to PC. And just to make sure that everything is okay and all the drivers are installed, 
and our device is successfully connected to PC using the fast boot mode. We have to enter a command which says fast boot devices. So here we can see a code for our device. This means the device is successfully connected. And just before proceeding, I just want to make sure that you guys know what you are doing and unlocking the bootloader and installing TWRP for the first time will flash wipe all your data. So it's always better to take the backup of all your important files. And once you make sure that nothing important is there in the mobile, then only you proceed. So considering everything is backed up, I'll move to the next command. So now next command to unlock the bootloader is fast boot flashing unlock and once you execute this command you will see a pop-up in your mobile which says you want to unlock your bootloader or no but as we really want to unlock the bootloader we'll select the option unlock the bootloader so in this screen you can use the volume up and down keys to navigate and then we can use the power button to select this option so this will boot up the device and again we have to boot in fast boot mode. So once this erasing is done, we again will boot in fast boot mode. So now the second command which we have to execute is fast boot flashing unlock underscore critical. So again similar pop up will come into our mobile and we have to select unlock the bootloader. Okay, so the mobile has been unlocked now or we can say the bootloader is now unlocked. So how to verify the bootloader is unlocked? We can run one more command which says fast boot OEM device hyphen info. So here you can see it says device unlocked true and device critical unlocked is also true. This means the bootloader has been successfully unlocked. Now we have to flash the TWRP. But before that, we have to run some additional commands so that our TWRP will not get stuck on boot screen. So for that, we have to run two more commands. Fast boot format user data. So this is successfully executed. And again, we have to write fast boot format cache. Okay, so these two commands are also successfully executed now. So now most of the prerequisites before flashing the TWRP are done. And now we'll boot our device through TWRP. So for that, we'll write one command fast boot boot and the path of TWRP file which we have already downloaded. Here is the TWRP file. We'll drag and drop it to the command prompt. Fast boot boot and the path of the TWRP image file. So as soon as I hit enter, the TWRP will get booted in mobile. So once we hit enter in the command prompt, we have to copy again this TWRP image file, which we have to flash from inside of TWRP and this disabled force encryption zip file. This also we have to copy in the internal storage and then flash through TWRP. So I'll hit enter in the command prompt and then switch back to mobile to show you the TWRP is successfully booted up. I've hit enter and now I'll switch back to my mobile and then show you. So there you can see guys, the TWRP has been booted successfully. And now we have to copy those two files which I've shown you in the MIA2 internal storage, which has just now popped up in the PC. We'll copy those two files this TWRP and this disable force encryption. We'll copy it and we'll paste in the internal storage. So now these two files are copied and if we go to install, first we have to install that image file. We'll select this and this we have to put in recovery partition. We'll select it and we'll flash. So now you can see the TWRP has been successfully flashed. We'll go back and now we'll choose this option which says install zip. So this zip is available now which we have copied which will disable the force encryption. We'll select this 
and then we'll swipe to confirm flash. So now both the things are done. I'll go back. Then I'll go to reboot and then I can reboot to system which will start the device. So this first boot will take some time considering now we have removed all the user data and we have to do the setup of this Android A2 device once again. So I'll quickly do that. So the device is successfully booted. So we'll just go to setting once again and verify everything. So here this is MI A2. And it's running on Android 10. So in order to verify whether the TWR is successfully installed or not, we have to boot in recovery mode. So for that we'll first switch off the device. And then we have to start the device by pressing the volume key up and as soon as the Android logo appears, we have to keep pressing this volume up button till the time this TWRP logo shows. So volume up button and power key. And once Android logo appears, we have to press this volume key up sometimes till the time TWRP logo shows up. So here TWRP is booted up and there you see guys, TWRP has been successfully booted up. Thumbs up. This means there is no stuck problem and everything is working as expected. And enjoy the TWRP in Android 10. Cheers. If you appreciate my efforts, please hit the like button and give me a visit on the below platforms. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.